Submarines are the pride of the U.S. Navy and a considerable nuclear argument in response to foreign challenges or large-scale military conflicts. The power afforded by such submarines is mind-boggling. In this video, we will break down the Virginia class of vessels and find out which advantages the latest Block 4 and Block 5 models have been outfitted with and how they've managed to surpass their predecessors. The development of the Virginia class multi-purpose submarines also known as SSN-774, was started in the 90s. The project, codenamed Centurion, and later renamed New SSN, NSSN, was one of the most advanced of its kind in the history of the U.S. Navy. Virginia submarines were the first military vessels developed using CATIA 3D visualization technology, including computer-aided engineering, CAE, computer-aided design, CAD, and computer-aided manufacturing, CAM, and product lifecycle management, PLM. Though the fleet was plagued with some problems in the areas of design and maintenance, engineers did everything they could to make their Virginia-class vessels as efficient as possible, spending more than 35 million working hours on the project by 2007. In addition to being cheaper than the deadly but golden submarines of the Seawolf class, Virginia introduced many innovations that hadn't previously been used on any U.S. Navy submarines. Due to the low production rate of Virginia vessels, the primary challenge was overcoming technological barriers along with DARPA in order to bring the cost of the attack submarines down. After all, you'll agree that the prospect of more subs for less money is an attractive one. The main milestones achieved include a movement system not limited by the axial shaft, the ability to hide external and launch weapons, the search for a comfortable alternative to the existing spherical group of sonars, technologies that simplified existing submarine hulls and their mechanical and electrical systems, a significant load reduction on the submarine crew and the automation of their maintenance processes. Virginia became the first class of submarines to adopt a common mast design in the form of a universal modular mast, UMM, developed by L3KEO. UMM is an integrated system for placement, installation, and support that includes a radar mast, AN-BPS-16, for surface search navigation, one or two high-speed satellite communication, SATCOM masts from Raytheon, a scuba diving mast, two communication masts, two photonics masts, a BLQ-10 ESM tactical combat system mast for the detection analysis, and identification of radar signals and communications from ships, aircraft, submarines, and ground transmitters. Furthermore, the traditional periscope was replaced by photonic sensors for Virginia-class vessels. These submarines are further equipped with high-resolution cameras, light intensification, and infrared sensors, an infrared laser rangefinder, and an integrated electronic support measures, ESM array. The design of earlier periscopes required penetrating the tough hull of a vessel, significantly harming its structural integrity, increasing the risk of flooding, and requiring the position of the control room to be under the sail. However, with the advent of photonics masts, the location of the control room was no longer so strictly limited. And most importantly, photonics sensors don't require penetration through a vessel's entire hull. While modern photonics masts allow one to quickly distinguish a Virginia-class vessel from all others, this also makes it easier for identification by enemy forces. Therefore, these masts were replaced with low-profile photonics masts, LPPM, that resemble traditional periscopes. In the future, the system can be further improved with the addition of a panoramic photonics mast that would afford a Virginia vessel a 360-degree view. These submarines are also equipped with a fly-by-wire system to improve their handling in shallow water. The torpedo compartments can be converted to accommodate a small detachment of Navy SEALs and their equipment. In addition, Virginia has a large lockable camera for divers. Before moving on to the latest upgrades to the Block 5 class, it's worth considering the predecessor models from Block 4. The plans turned out to be very comprehensive as Block 4 included as many as 10 models of submarines, as many as Blocks 1 and 2 combined. Of these, the Vermont, Oregon, and Hyman G have already been commissioned. 
The Rickover and the Montana have been launched and the remaining six vessels are under construction. The contract for 10 Virginia-class Block 4 submarines awarded to the general contractor General Dynamics Electric Boat for $17.6 billion has become the most expensive contract in the history of shipbuilding, due in part to the significant improvements in the area of technical equipment. The main innovation of Block 4 vessels over Block 3 was the reduction of major maintenance periods from 4 to 3, reducing the time a vessel spends in dry docks and granting it an additional deployment over the course of its service. The approximate standard for a nuclear submarine's deployment schedule is 14 times in 33 years of service. But despite the absence of a ceremony to honor Vermont's launch due to the pandemic, it turns out the model has even more cards up its sleeve. It receives significantly more Tomahawk missiles and expanded firing capabilities for them in the form of two 87-inch revolver-type installations. That said, Block 5 models will receive the greatest number of improvements in the Virginia class to date. Of these two vessels, the Oklahoma and the Arizona are already being constructed. Four more vessels, the Barb, Tang, Wahoo, and Silver Sides have been announced. As for the rest of the Block 5 boats, their status hasn't yet been disclosed by U.S. Navy representatives. In contrast to previous upgrades focused on improving costs, all efforts were thrown towards expanding the capabilities and performance of Block 5 Virginia-class submarines. To begin, the overall dimensions of the vessels have increased, while previous models were 377 feet long. This new incarnation has grown almost 100 feet to a total length of 460 feet. Displacement has also changed significantly, from 7,800 to 10,200 tons. One of the main reasons for this generous fattening of Block 5 vessels is the addition of the Virginia Payload Module, VPM, thanks to which the submarines will be equipped with four extra cargo compartments accommodating seven Tomahawk cruise missiles each. This will outfit a Virginia-class boat with 40 Tomahawk cruise missiles hidden away from prying eyes in its cargo compartments. But increased payload isn't the only thing worth mentioning when it comes to Block 5. It's also set a new milestone for the U.S. Navy in the form of compatibility with the latest weaponry, including hypersonic weapons. According to U.S. Navy Vice Admiral Johnny Wolfe, the first Virginia vessel with hypersonic weaponry will be deployed as early as 2028. Though, in fact, the Navy had initially planned to install this equipment on board Ohio-class submarines by 2025. Unfortunately, budget cuts prevented the construction of an underwater test center and led to this delay. However, the Zumwalt-class destroyer will become the first offshore platform to be outfitted with hypersonic weapons in 2025. Another potential innovation might be the ability to launch unmanned underwater vehicles from the submarine. But it isn't known yet whether this feature will see light on the current Block 5 or a future iteration. Furthermore, don't forget about the constant acoustic improvements to submarine design, another part of the U.S. Navy's efforts to maintain superiority over Russian and Chinese vessels. In fact, Blocks 1 and 2, Blocks 3 and 4, and Block 5 submarines can already be considered as three separate classes, which is quite impressive. After all, no other Navy in the world has changed more than 40% of an original design within a single submarine class. In addition, regular improvements within the Virginia class have helped the U.S. prepare for the creation of a Columbia-class ballistic missile submarine, and we think that these engineering feats deserve much more attention. But which class of submarines is most impressive to you? Maybe the heavily armed Ohio, or the expensive Seawolf? Let us know in the comments. And if you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and hit the bell. Until next time.